Welcome to Satisfactory, guys. I am a nerdy old gamer, and today we're jumping into a new playthrough of Satisfactory. Well, it's not exactly new. Uh, we're starting in the grass fields, and I have done quite a bit already, as you will see in the top right corner. We are completing the Phase 3 elevator. So yeah, we are a bit into the game. Um, that is because things take a long time to do in Satisfactory. And due to that fact, uh, this will not be a daily or every other day series. It'll be weekly or maybe even bi-weekly that we do stuff in Satisfactory. Simply because it takes so long to do anything. It takes a long time to do a little. And um, yeah, I don't have excessive amount of times so this is how it's it's going to work now today i am going to take you through what i've done so far uh, this might be split up into two videos i am making the videos shorter for this series uh, 15 maybe 20 minute videos no more than that and uh, basically the series is going to function so that i'm going to tell you what i'm going to do that I'm going to do it, and then I am going to show you what I did. But for the first one, maybe two videos, I'm just going to show you what I did, uh, talk you through it, so that we're on the same page uh, of where we are. And uh, I've done quite a lot, but before we get into what of that, uh, all of that. Uh, I just want to say, if you are enjoying Satisfactory, if you enjoy Satisfactory, if you are enjoying the video, it would be fantastic if you would hit the like button, and if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button as well. It really helps the channel out, and really helps me out, and I do appreciate it so, so much. Uh, also, uh, if you are interested in checking out uh, my Discord, you can join my Discord. There's a link in the description. Uh, so come join us over on Discord. There's not much activity right now. It's a pretty new Discord. Uh, but we come talk about games, talk about other stuff, uh, make game suggestions for me to play on the channel, stuff like that. It's all very much appreciated. And of course, if you have comments to the videos that we're doing, or that I'm doing, uh, like suggestions, uh, critiques, anything, please feel free to leave those comments as well. It also helps the channel a lot, and I do appreciate it. Uh, also, if you feel so inclined, you can check out my game store. It's also a link in the description, and see if there's maybe a game that you fancy trying out. Uh, that also helps the channel out. So, uh, yeah. Uh, but with all that said, let's jump in. So we started in the grass fields here, and uh, you know what? Let's go over here. I need to get, pick up some speed with a run so that I can get up into this tower. So that we can take a look out at what I have done so far. Um, well, some of what I've done so far. And this is where I decided to start uh, the playthrough with these three iron patches that are over here. So we started over there somewhere and I ran over here, set up the hub, set up some iron mines and got some, uh, some iron smelting going to make iron plates and rods and screws and stuff like that. And then over in the distance you can see a copper smelting setup which is a little bit extended now and uh, obviously so is the iron uh, initial iron setup so initially it was one what the heck was that that scared the crap out of me uh, initially it was one miner with a few smelters and some constructors making iron plate uh, which we have in here making iron rods, uh, which we actually don't have in here because we are making screws out of these. But we have iron rods over here. So, yeah. Um, we have 
all that going. We had our initial setup being powered by our two uh, biomass burners over here. I ran around grabbing a lot of biomass crap, grass and stuff, throwing it in there and, and fueling everything and uh, with a few extra biomass burners out there. But I decided to make a little bit of a better biomass burner setup so that we can throw leaves into here, wood in over there. This will turn leaves into biomass. That will turn uh, wood into biomass. And then this will turn biomass into solid biofuel, which we have a bunch of over here. And so yeah, and then we have 10 biomass burners set up here that are basically not doing anything. That they're, that they're not doing anything. We have plenty of power. Uh, over here, we initially set up a single copper mine just to make some copper sheets, copper uh, wire, or just wire as it's called, and some cable. And all these machines are full right now. All the rest we'll get to in a minute. After all that was done and I unlocked tier, uh, so we, I didn't start at the very beginning. I decided to skip the tutorial because I, I, I've done it a few times before and I really don't feel the need to go through the, the pain of going through tier zero. So uh, we started out by getting tier one and two unlocked. That's all done and then launching the space elevator the glorious glorious space elevator which is a majestic building if i've ever seen one it is awesome wow i didn't even know there was limestone up here well we don't really need that now well we do for foundations but not really really need uh but anyway uh, next i uh, i went out and uh, we, we unlocked tiers 3 and 4, and we unlocked uh, coal and steel. So we set up a steel factory over here. Well, I set up a steel factory. It's wrong of me to say we, because it was I who did it. And and, and you weren't even where I, where I was doing it, so you had nothing to do with this monstro monstrosity. Uh, but uh, yeah, this monstrosity is making uh, steel pipes, uh, industrial beams, uh, these things, uh, automated wiring, uh, versatile framework, screws, and the screws are from an alternate recipe of steel screws. Then we are making uh, steel beams, and that's, well, a lot of it is going into here to make some uh, heavy module frames. I think we have some in here, or maybe not. Oh, that's the input, that's the output. So we have 100 module frames here, heavy module frames. We, we, we have more. But I initially thought that this was going to be a permanent building, but I re quickly realized that it's not. That's why it's uh, very, very half measure done. But basically, we're we're producing, we're producing, and it, it, it the the layout is actually not entirely unpleasing if it was completed. So yeah, uh, we have underfloors, we have. Uh, nice neat rows of machines that are going to the underfloors and then going up so yeah i i had ambitions for this i had ambitions for this but i never fulfilled them this was going to be like a glass enclosure to make nice looking uh, elevators for all the stuff that's going on but it just never happened because 
I realized with all the alternate recipes and stuff like that, it just wasn't feasible to, to make this a, power, a permanent building. And here we have another medium floor. I also think the medium floors are a little bit too high, maybe. Too much space. It looks a little weird. And up here we have more machines making stuff and the machines are all mixed together. They're not in their own rooms. Yeah, it, it, it's just it's, it's just not what I wanted to do. But, of course, in order to get all this stuff going, we needed to get some coal power. So, Let's head over and uh, take a look at our coal power setup. It's over here. And I do love the Explorer. It sounds good, it looks good, it drives good. It is just a wonderful vehicle to be driving in. Except when you fall in the water, because then it really sucks. Which I have done a few times. Uh, I won't lie. I won't lie. Alright, and I almost fell in again. So, down here, we have coal power. Uh, well, not anymore, really, but uh, you'll, you'll see what I mean. So, I started by setting up coal power over here you know, on a big, ugly platform. I haven't deleted it yet. But we have these two uh, pure coal nodes, which are very loud with the miners on them. And I started by using those two together with some water from out there and just getting a bit of cold going. But then I unlocked, unlocked Miner's Mark 2. And Miner's Mark 2 are awesome because they double up our output. So with the pure nodes, uh, you would normally get 120. We're going back to the noise, guys, sorry. Uh, we are actually getting uh, 150 parts uh, per minute here with 125%. Normally, with a pure node, uh, you get six. Wait, is this only a mar minor mark one? I think this is only a minor mark one. No, it is a minor mark two. What's going on? Are these are these normal nodes? They are normal nodes. Okay, I misremembered. Okay, so we have four normal nodes of coal. Each doing around 100, 100 uh, percent each, a little bit more. One of them, I think. And this is the coal power setup that we have, where we have a bunch of water extractors underneath, down here, and they are all bringing up water for our coal power plants. And up top, if we go over here and try out one of these bad boys, the hyper tubes, and we can see that we have quite a lot of uh, coal plants sitting up here. And it all's well organized. I think it looks relatively nice. Look at that. Looks organized and pleasing. I haven't colored anything, but other than that, it looks organized and pleasing. And I will be doing coloring of the stuff later as well. Though I will probably need your help for that because I am uh, kind of colorblind. So, yeah, uh, I'll be choosing purple when I think I'm choosing blue and that could make some for some very weird things for you guys so I am going to need you guys help with coloring all of my buildings and machines and pipes and so on but if we could just go up top again uh, we will take a look at the finished cold sap Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't fall into the water. Uh, 
And I kind of like the view from up here. We can see all these uh, machines going and it's and the entire game flickering for some reason, which I don't know why it is. Uh, but we basically have, uh, what, 6, 12, 18, uh, 36 coal generators up here, giving us power. Yeah, 36 coal generators producing 100 and, no, 75 megawatts each, which is... 3,000 megawatts of power that we're generating from uh, from this coal power plant which is is a good start and allowed us uh, to make some progress well it, it allowed us to fire up our steel factory that we just looked at I also considered building over here uh, because there are a lot of uh, iron nodes here but they're all impure and I wasn't really sure that's what I wanted to do. So I, I, I kind of skipped that plan. But this took me about probably 30, 40 hours in game to do. And uh, that is going to turn into a around 17 minute video. Uh, so you can see why I can't do daily or or anything videos uh, for this game. It, it's going to have to be weekly or maybe even bi-weekly because as we progress, things take longer and longer to do. You need more and more materials to do them. We need more machines, so on and so forth. But uh, yeah, 30, 40 mi hours to... Uh, to get to this point i also unlocked uh so we, we have the ocean shops here over here maybe you haven't maybe you don't know satisfactory basically you need to build a factory uh, to make stuff and it's an early access so there's no end game right now we, we're just progressing but as you uh produce stuff you can drop it into awesome sinks that'll give you coupons we have 14 coupons right now i'm not going to print them but the coupons allow you to purchase stuff in the uh, awesome shop and I have been awesome shopping a bit uh, there, there's still a lot to buy in here but I have bought uh, what I felt was most important to me and my goal for this series is well I, I want to make a mega factory but not in the traditional sense of a mega factory I don't want it to be one big factory I want it to be spread out across the world and um, I, I want to get all of these unlocked of course and uh, I want to get all the alternate recipes so that we are uh, as efficient as possible so uh, there are default recipes in the game that you just get when you unlock a, a tier in in this and you send the pot up uh, but there are alternate recipes that are much more efficient and I want to get all those I think I have around 30 of them now maybe uh, and there is a total of 91 uh, but you have to go out and explore the world which is quite big we are here and I have explored this bit of the world. There's more up here. Uh, we haven't been in this entire place. There's some out here. It, it, it's a pretty big place, this world. And uh, we'll take a look at it in future episodes. So, uh, yeah, I hope you're excited for uh, Satisfactory. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. Uh, I think Satisfactory will be, will be coming out every Sunday or every other Sunday if I haven't had the time to get enough done to make an episode. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll check it from there. So I hope you'll join me and I hope you'll hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. It would really mean a lot. And uh, have a wonderful day and, uh, uh, well, a wonderful weekend or week ahead.
So yeah, have fun guys. Bye bye.